Hey guys, I'm Brian here with uh, the second installment of Minecraft Beta 1.8 pre-release. Uh, today we are going to be looking at creative mode. I already have a world set up with some stuff in it, so I can just show you guys. Uh, if you noticed in the last video that half the stuff didn't have textures, that was because my uh, texture pack was outdated and I needed to update it, which I did, so now everything looks nice. Um, first things first though, uh, you can plant watermelons and pumpkins now and they spread off into these little patches and you can pluck them up um, in creative mode when you hit I or for your inventory whatever you guys use it opens this and you can get an infinite stack of a certain item and I'm just gonna turn it to day using F6 and F7 F6 to go backwards F7 to go forward it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, that's how plant or er, farming works now. So that's cool. You cannot use bone meal on these, though. I don't know if that's intentional or an accident. But yeah. Um, chests have a super cool open and closing animation. Now, um, yeah. Uh, iron bars made from iron. Really. Uh, they look. You can use them in glass, or for your windows, like this, um, or for like prisons or stuff, or challenge maps and stuff like that. And then glass panes, uh, basically a flat piece of glass that conforms. Um, since this is still pre-release, it's obviously still very buggy. Um, I faked as much as I could personally, but yeah. Alright, um, we've also got these... Um, stone brick stuff. Um, there are stairs, blocks, and half slabs, um, which actually look pretty nice in my opinion. What we're gonna get to though is some of the stuff I've made using this mode. Uh, these are just some pretty epic sandstone towers. Um, I was thinking of making these in the city but never got around to it. Uh, requires a lot of lapis though. You could use water, but eh. And then I went over here and made a stone one. Um, personally I think this looks better, but that's up to you guys. Tell me which ones you think look better. And they're pretty much the same on the inside. Um, yeah. So whatever you guys think looks better, toss it in the comments below. Um, yeah, about the server thing though. Like three or four people got banned, so I didn't see a point in continuing it, so I just gave up, but, eh, whatever. Alright, so, some more features, flying, when you double tap space, you can fly, and in the first one, I, uh, neglected to realize how to sprint, but if you double tap W, if I can figure this out again, <laughs> there we go, uh, you kick up dirt behind you, and you run slightly faster, and then, and then when you touch down or you shift, you stop flying. Shift puts you down like that. So that's uh, that. Um, Endermen drop ender pearls. I'm not really sure what they're used for yet, but wait and see. Probably like the new golden apple or XP or something. Zombies now drop rotten flesh. Uh, chickens drop raw chicken. Um, melon seeds and pumpkin seeds are really nice now. Um, when you break a melon, you get slices of watermelon, um, raw pork chops and cooked pork chops, cooked to look, like, disgusting, personally, but that's my opinion. Um, but yeah, this is creative mode. You have instant break, you have spawning of infinite stacks of things, uh, the only real pain I found though is that there's only buckets and not blocks, so you have to spawn in a new bucket every single time. Uh, it's a pain in the butt, but yeah. So, yeah, that's about it for creative mode. Um, you can just make some awesome stuff like this. Right, I gotta get it back to like midnight, so these actually look really good. Yeah, these look really cool, guys. I really like these designs. Um,. But yeah, that's it, I guess. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.